Hi everyone, welcome to day 37 of our 100 days SQL challenge. Today we're going to solve one of the SQL question asked in Flipkart data analyst interview. So let's see the question. So the question is that you are given a table with a two columns. One is called ID, which is the primary key and one is called num, which is basically having some numbers. So it says write a SQL query to find all numbers that appears at least three times consecutively. So if you see this a table here, we have this one that is appearing three times right you can see one 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 then we have a two but it is appearing two times right so here one we have one time so we only need this one because this one is appearing three times okay so this is what we need to basically solve so you will be having a output which is going to be one okay now to solve it what you can do is that you can find out how many times this one is appearing you can see here it is appearing one two three right so that means we need one so if you see this two is appearing only for two times so we do not need it so any number that is appearing consecutively three times we only need that specific numbers okay now let's see how we should solve this problem to solve this problem we can use a window functions called leg and we can say leg one and leg two to get the previous record and the previous to previous record so here if you see here on this column which is called number column on this column i'm using window function leg to get one previous record to this current record let's say you're currently working on this row okay so for this row if you are using your leg on this column basically if you're using leg on this column okay so you will be getting here null because there is no previous record so we are getting null here right and here you will be getting this one you'll be getting here this one you'll be getting here this one you will be getting here because we're using leg one but here if you see we are getting two nulls because here you are using leg a two okay so here you're getting first null second null and then this one you're getting here okay and this one you're getting here and for two you're getting this two here okay and uh, this one here you're getting and this two you're getting this one you're getting here okay what you can do to solve it simple what you can do once we have this previous record and this previous to previous record you can simply compare it this way okay? now after creating these two columns what you can simply say is that this record must be same with the previous record okay and this previous record must be same with this the previous record the second previous record okay if this is a true that means this one is appearing consecutively three times because first here one time then you are comparing with this okay then this you are comparing with this so if this condition is a true you will be getting this one okay for this two it is not true because it is appearing only once and then there is no other two there is a two but there is a one right so that means this is not going to be fulfilled okay so let's see how we can solve this in a sequel let's see how we can solve this one using writing code okay so you can see here we have the id and numbers now we're going to create two columns on this number column using leg okay first column we'll try to access the first row and in the second column we'll try to access the previous second row okay but to do that we would just go ahead and select in the next line and we would say leg on this number and i want the first row so basically here i would need this row here i would need this row here i would need this row okay so then i would say over and i would say order by id because id is the primary key and i would just give it call record okay so let me show you it's going to create the previous record you can see so the first record it is showing as a null because there is no previous record to this one right so here if you see the previous record is this one so one is coming here and for this previous record is this one it is coming here for this two previous record is one it is coming here okay for one the previous record is two it is coming here okay let's do the same this time but we will be using the previous second record so leg two this time we're going to use let's run it and you can see now we have two nulls because there is no two previous record to this that's the reason we are getting two nulls so let's give it call second previous record okay nice name okay now it is a perfect so if you see for this one there is no previous two records so we are getting two nulls okay so here for this record we have the previous to previous record that's going to be one okay for this previous to previous record that's going to be one for this is going to be previous to previous record that's going to be one for this the previous to previous record that's going to be two okay so this is fine now what it just need to say that we would need this number if this number is equals to the previous record number and if this previous number is equals to the 
previous second previous record numbers if this is true that means we would need that number that number is appearing consecutively three times okay so for that we can simply use this column this column and this number column so we would just go ahead and save this in a city or sub query you can use any approach so i'm just going to use a sub query here so i would just go ahead and say i'm selecting number and then i'm selecting the previous number which is going to be previous record i can just name it called previous record or previous number whatever you want okay so all these things coming from this query which is going to be my sub query is sub query okay so this is fine next what i need is going to be from this sub query i would basically compare based on this number so let me just write a from condition so from and uh, everything i'm getting from this sub query okay and i would be adding a where conditions now before where condition let me show you will be getting all these three columns you can see i'm getting all these three columns okay so based on this column i have only created this and this right so that is fine now i can in where conditions i can simply say i need this numbers where this number is equals to the previous record and equals to the second previous record so what you can say is that number equals this previous record okay now this is fine this is the one condition if this condition is satisfied you would need it right and we would need one more conditions because we want to set this we want that this previous record must be same with this second previous record so we can go ahead and say that this previous record equals second previous record which is going to be this one okay so let's kind of run it here you can see we have only one because one is appearing three consecutively so this one is coming from the present row this one is coming from the previous row this one is coming from the second previous row okay so we only need one number so i would just go ahead and say num okay so that is going to give me the number that is appearing three times consecutively okay so this is how we have solved this problem now if you have any different approach to solve this problem do let me know now i have added some challenges in the yesterday problem where i have solved the yesterday problem using simple window functions called lag so let's quickly go through the yesterday problems once again so it says write a sql query to find all dates id with higher temperature compared to its previous date which is yesterday so basically you have a simple table which is called weather so the weather table has id record date and the temperature of the current day okay so every day you record the temperature date and id okay you give some id here id is the primary key okay so if you see we would need only those days or you can say we would need only those record where this current day temperature is higher than the previous date okay so that means here this current day is like a 2 and the previous day is 1 which is the 1st of Jan of 2015. So that means here if you see the temperature it is increased right. This is greater than this. So we would need this record. Same way we would need this record because this is also 30 is greater than 20 and this is for 3rd of Jan. This is for 4th of Jan. Okay. So this is fine. Now what if the previous row record that you have it is not the previous day which is yesterday record what if this is like maybe december 25th or december 26th right so for that case we do not need this record because this is not greater than the previous day there is a possibility we have not recorded the previous day temperature so we cannot select this right blindly so for that i have added some new records and let me just go ahead and kind of add this new records okay let's insert this new record and let me just run this query again so here you can see I have added some new records okay I had till here till fourth record I had earlier now I have one more record which is the fifth record but you see this is not the day 5 this is day 6 of Jan right here day 4 and here directly day 6 though it is increased the temperature if you compare day 4 which is 30 and day 6 which is kind of 33 so that means we should be getting this if in case we use the earlier approach which we have used yesterday so if you have not gone through the yesterday video i would request you to go through the yesterday video this is very very one of the important uh, you know interview question so now that means we should be getting this right if i just run the normal query i will be having this record because here the temperature has increased but if you see the day difference this record is not yesterday records even we do not see any yesterday records so that means we need to ignore it there is a possibility that maybe the yesterday which is 
5th of Jan, temperature maybe it was like 40 degree, right? We do not know. So for that, we would not select it. Okay. So we need to ensure two conditions now. One is this temperature must be greater than this previous record. And the second condition is that this day and this day difference must be one day. Okay. So these two conditions now we need to imply. Now, how do you compare this date and this date? Again, you can use the same window functions like to get the previous date. And then you would just check the difference between this and this. Okay. So let's see how we can do that. This is the approach that we have yesterday used yesterday. If I just run it. You see, I am getting two, four, five, seven, nine. So many records, right? I'm getting all the records where the temperature has increased, but the day difference is not one day. If you see, we should only get this, which is called this one, because the first January was 10, second January is 25. And we should be getting this one, which is 4th January, because it is increased from 20. And then we should be getting um, next, maybe this one, because this is 10th of January and 9th of January, 9th of January 31, 10th of January 35. Okay, we only we should only get two, four, and this nine. Okay, but here if you see, we are getting like everything. Okay, we are getting all these different columns. Though the day difference is not one day, I can just show you as a star. Let me just show it as a star. So here I'm getting the first record, the uh, the second record which is fine. The third record I'm getting which is the fifth record. If you see the day difference 4 and 6, it's not one day and you see the temperature has increased but the point is that the day difference is not one day. Same way this one, I'm getting 26. Okay, if you see the temperature has increased but the day difference is again not one day. Okay, so to solve it, what I can do, we can use one more window functions and lag on the record date. Okay, so let me show you. Let me just go ahead and add one more window functions this time on the record date. So I would just go ahead and say record date. Okay. And everything remains same. I would just go ahead and say previous day. Okay. Maybe previous day. So let me run it. Oops. I would just added extra comma here. So here you can see now what you have is that the previous day temperature along with the previous day date. Now we just need to check if this current day and the previous day difference is one day. First thing and the second thing is that the current day temperature which is this one must be greater than the previous day temperature. Okay, that's how we will be getting the results. So if you see here it is going to fulfill for this two, the current day which is uh, two gen and the previous day which is one gen. So the difference is between one day bet between this, this, this date and this date. That's the first thing. And the second thing, if you see this temperature is 25, the previous day temperature is 10. Okay. So we would just need one more, you know, condition, which is called where conditions. And here I can just add this current date, which is called a record date, a record date. Okay. Equals, which is the previous day. That's the previous day plus one day. Okay. I would just add previous day plus one day. That's going to be the record date which is the current date right so current date should be previous day plus one day so for that you can simply use the interval functions interval okay so this is going to ensure that the previous day plus one day that is going to be today now if, have, if i just want to show you let me just show it here okay let's say i'm selecting a date call maybe something called 2024 and 10 and maybe 14 okay so I'm selecting 14 is which is the yesterday and if I just run this query, you see it is the yesterday, let me just convert it into date. Okay, so you can see it is kind of showing yesterday, right? Now if I just, now it is in the date format, so I can just use this function which is called interval 1D. So you would see it is going to show like the 15th of October. Now it is, it is showing as a 15th of October, okay? So this is the functions that we are using, the interval functions, okay? So let's go ahead and now run this query. So we are saying that both the condition has to be true. The today temperature must be greater than yesterday temperature and the day difference between today and yesterday should be one day. Okay. Now we are only having one record, which is two. So here, if you see the today temperature is higher than the previous record, a temperature, which is 10 and the day difference today and yesterday, yesterday plus one day is going to be the today. The previous day plus one day is going to be today, which is second of our uh, you know jan and if you see here as well also it's fourth of jan 30 and 20 and the day difference is third right previous record date was kind of third jan so third plus one is going to be fourth here if you see it's today is a 10th jan so previous day was nine so nine plus one is is, is going to be 10th and the temperature is going to be 35 so 35 which is greater than the previous day temperature which is 31 okay 
So this is how we can solve this a problem. Now based on the data, you can decide which approach you need to basically solve. Sometime maybe if you are using the right result using this approach, if your interviewer is not impressed, then you can basically add one more, uh, you know, conditions like this. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. I hope you have learned something new today. If you're new to this channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.